snakes and alligators right away, come away, right away, come away. Where cotton's king and men are chattel, union boys will win the battle right away, come away, right away, come away. I have fought traitors and treason in the South. I oppose the Davises and Tooneses, the Slidells, and a long list of others whose names I need not repeat. And now when I turn around at the other end of the line, I find men I care not by what name you call them. I still stand opposed to the restoration of the Union of these states. And I am free to say to you that I am still for the restoration of this Union. I am still in favor of this great government of ours going on and following out its destiny. Names. Gentlemen call for their names, but I suppose I should give them. We are enough. I look upon them, I repeat it, as president or citizen, as being as much opposed to the fundamental principles of this government, and believe they are as much laboring to pervert and destroy them as were the men who fought against us. Oh, the names. I say Thaddeus Stevens of Pennsylvania. I say Charles Sumner. I say Wendell Phillips and others of the same stripe are among them. Give it to Forney! Some gentleman in the crowd says give it to Forney. I only just have to say that I do not waste my ammunition on dead ducks. I stand for my country. I stand for the Constitution, where I place my feet for my entrance into public life. They may traduce me, they may slander me, they may vituperate me. But let me say to you that it has no effect upon me. And let me say in addition that I do not intend to be bullied by my enemies. What behind you, I understand you? I know my country and that it has been insinuated. And not only insinuated, but said directly. The intimation has been given in high places. That if such a usurpation of power had been exercised 200 years ago in a particular reign, it would have cost a certain individual his head. What usurpation has Andrew Johnson been guilty of? No, no, no. Usurpation I've been guilty of has always been standing between the people and the encroachments of power.